All right, guys, I'm here with Kelechi, and obviously it's Arsenal 1, Chelsea 2. I mean, commiserations for your team, you but so what much. do you think of the game? I, mean, I think, first half, we really played well, but I think the game changed when Frank Lampard changed the system. When we played back for us, but in Georgia, he took off Emerson. I think that's when yeah. the game changed. And second half, we didn't really get a foothold, but we were still, but we were still keeping you guys away from the goal, defending well. Even Mustafi, after his head clash with uh, Rodiga, started yeah. heading the ball more. And you yeah. know, I was like, okay. And all of a sudden, the free kick just floated across the everybody, and then uh, yeah. uh, who should have been sent off uh, in the game, in my opinion, <laughs> had a tap well, in. We'll have to see, to, to be honest, we'll look at the match of the day, we'll see if he should have been sent off no, or not. Okay. I think I'll make that judgment from there, because okay, no I, I can't make a clear judgment on that. Okay. I didn't see what happened in that second one, it just, I was looking at, at something else, and yeah. But no, I mean, I'm happy that we won, we finally ended the decade with North London is not red anymore, it is definitely blue. No, it's red. It's still well, red. Well, no, I mean, come on. This it's season, I mean, it's definitely it's been blue. It's still red. We, we beat Tottenham. We, we beat you guys. So we ended on a high for us in, uh, in the decade. We beat West Ham, isn't it? So, so but yeah, but that's at home. <laughs> that's at home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying away, we definitely rule out London. Uh, well, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, you guys play well. It's tough to your task. And uh, I thought it was a good game. Both sides played well. And now yeah. you know, it's still a rebuilding process for us. Uh, mm. A lot of positives to take out from it. You know, yeah, exactly. Abu Mayang again was okay. Yeah. Back, worked yeah. hard and um, Torreira was immaculate as well. But mm. at the end, um, my my national guy Abraham, you know, he's Nigerian as well. Mm. Oh wow, <laughs> so, is he? Yeah, I, I didn't realize actually. Yeah, 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 okay. He's, he's, I mean, he was born here, but his parents. Yeah. Are here, so, yeah. And then what and, did uh, troops say about I, Abraham? He can't score in big games. Well, I don't know about that. Everybody has their opinion. <laughs> I, mean, I just have yeah. to say congratulations. Just yeah, of course. Yeah. And and just one last thing. What I'll just say about Arteta. I mean. You could see on the pitch, he was the way he was motivating the team. I wish Lampard would do that at times, but you definitely are set. I don't think I think this season, frankly speaking, until like a couple of day games from now, treat this for now as a preseason. I think this is the best way because I think to me Arteta needs a preseason. You can't go in without a preseason really, just, just like that with a new manager. Need, you need to, I mean, the January day is coming. You need to strengthen the back line. You need yeah. to strengthen the spine of the squad. It's yeah. definitely needed. I think to me, if you definitely. find... Okay, obviously, Kolasinac is injury prone. Yeah, and I, and, I, and I feel that if Chambers was on the pitch, I don't think you guys would have scored. I think Who? he's our Chambers. I think he's our best defender at the moment. Yeah. But okay. Louise was immaculate as well. well no, hang on. Really Chambers good. was on the pitch, but he was the one who got taken off no. for Mustafi. No, yeah, because he was injured, isn't he? Yeah, it? for That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So if he was on the pitch, I think he's personally, I think he's our best defender. Okay. Uh, that would have been better. But again, no need to blow by it. I think uh, yeah. I have your second <laughs> okay, yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, I'm joined by Delhi, an Arsenal fan. Obviously, as Chelsea and Arsenal, we both hate Tottenham, right? Yeah, that's so, right. Yeah, we can both agree on that. So. As also, we both know, tonight's result was Arsenal 1, Chelsea 2. Yes, sadly. Um, commiserations, first of all. Yeah, Secondly, you. Well what done. do you well think uh, of your team's performance? Do you, I mean, are you hopeful for the future? Or is it just like, I mean, you just don't know. You can't really predict what's going to happen. i like to say to you that I'm hopeful for the future. But however, hands on heart, I just don't know. Okay. I'm going to give Arteta the time that he fully deserves because he deserves it from me and fans. My question is, I question whether the board will give him the amount of time he deserves because right. at the end of the, end of the day, yeah, we've suffered um, quite quite a lot in the last how many years? Yeah. With poor management, poor running of the board. However, yeah. I do believe that there are signs there. It's just how long can we wait? Yeah. Or how long is it going to take? I think it's a matter of how long is it going to take. Yeah. And some of the players are going to fail to buy into his philosophy, yeah. while others are going to succeed in buying into his, his um, philosophy. Yeah. And I'm I hope it happens. Um, Sooner rather than later, but well, then again, to, we just to have honest, to be realistic. Yeah, if if I'm being realistic, um, the the philosophy is going to take time. You got to have a preseason at some stage, and I think games like these, even though it's big games, you got to treat this as a preseason. No, of I, I know, I know. Even as a Chelsea fan, if basically we had a, some a situation like you, it would be hard for me to treat this type of game as a preseason. I completely understand that. Yeah. But you have to at some stage because. A manager that comes in, a new one, needs a pre-season. Well, if, if we're going to be playing the likes of Willock, Maitland-Niles, Saka, mm. these young players, Nelson, 
then it says to me that we're it says to me that um, we are writing our season off and we're okay. going to start from scratch and it's another season write off we, we have, we've wasted another season again so we just need to um, start from scratch but when are we going to start from scratch that's what's frustrating and do it the right way. I'm sorry. I'm hoping I, that I just found that it hilarious. Another season write off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. As a it Chelsea is. fan, I just find it hilarious because we never write off our season. We never do. We fight until the end. I wish I could say those words, but <laughs> I'm sorry. On a long term, I want to see this club succeed to the best of its okay. to the yeah. best of its full ability, and we're not doing that. Mm. So we're suffering through that. Yeah. Okay. Put it this way. <coughs> Obviously, we had a little bit of discussion of what needs to change in, the, yeah. uh, in January. I look at this, I look at your team. You have two centre-backs in um, David Luiz uh, and Socrates, and then you got, obviously, Mustafi, Mavropanos. They're too similar in terms of style of play, in terms of mindset, in terms of the way they play, they're too similar. And none of them are leaders. What, what, they're basically more it's or less, ball, they're, they're definitely ball-playing defenders. It's clear to see that Mavropanos is not getting game time. Mm. He's never going to play week in, week out. David Luiz, I don't think he's Thank you very much answer. for buying him. Thank you very much. A million. Oh, Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's saying that he did. He probably was our best centre half. Yeah, but that's how bad defender. it shows. You know, if he's your best centre half. Well, in terms of the performance. Was, but the thing is, it? though, I, I'm going to be honest. He basically again. Oh, he's not. He's not a week in, week out. Seven out of ten. Eight out of ten. He's more yeah. or less a four. Out of 10, maybe 3 yeah, out of 10. That, that's oh, the thing, let's though. say it again, 3, 4 out of during 10, 5 out of 10. During pre-season, Lampard basically said to uh, David Luiz, you're a four-choice centre-back. And he want, that's why he wanted to leave. And that's why he joined and you, yet, because you just fell for it. And yet Arsenal decided, maybe Arsenal, if not Emery, or Emery, or if not Arsenal, decided to buy this guy. Yeah. I wasn't um, best pleased. I was hoping that we can squeeze it out, squeeze the money out and, get, and yeah. go and get a, a day up on Marcano. Yeah, I think or someone, you need a leader. One, some, you need a yeah. central defender that acts like a leader. Yeah. Juan Mecano is an example, but he's had RB Leipzig. He's not going to want to come. You're going to want someone like Saliba. You're Saliba, gonna, Saliba's... Yep. I think he's a prospect. And okay. I think but him I think, going out on yep. loan, maybe it might be a, it might be the case of this um, loan period mm -hmm. at Saint Etienne will do him the world of good. Okay. Otherwise, if he comes here and he does not um, hit the hit the, hit the ground, ground running, running yep. then he's gonna have he's gonna have games where he'll get he'll get benched. So and, to me, and his I confidence think will drop. I mean, we don't want yep. the last thing I want to see a young player. Um, and dropping down in confidence and yeah, you know, I, that's I the agree. last thing. But that's the thing. So you need Saliba, but you also need a backup. You need someone else who is who can act as a leader as well yeah. as a central defender. Upamecano can be an option, but the problem is he's at RB Leipzig. He's going to want Champions League football. Oh, he's not going to come to Arsenal. You need to find. You need to be a bit more realistic into in the transfer targets on that front. Then afterwards you got Tierney, who's obviously. At the moment, I think he's injured, right? Yeah, sadly. You need a backup for him. You can't have Kolasinac. Then you have the then answer. you have the right back. You can't have Chambers. To me, he's more of a central defensive midfielder. He'd be perfect backup to Torreira, for example, mm. as I see it. I like him as a centre back, personally okay. speaking. I think he's, I think he's a decent centre back, decent Premier League centre back. Do, do you think uh, basically he would be? He got relegated with Fulham, but mm. Fulham got relegated while he was there. But it was a t collectively a team. Okay. It was a collective, yeah, collectively a. Team reason why they went down. Yeah. He got went he went down with uh, Middlesbrough. Not solely because of him. It was because of the team. Okay. Did not perform. All right, but yeah, I mean, you do need a backup for Bellerin. That's the thing. I mean, you yeah, can't have Maitland-Niles there. I, I, I think to me, he's, yeah. uh, and Maitland you know, Niles once is you a fix that, central midfield yeah, player. Yeah. So basically, that's three signings. You fix that. Your defense is maybe a bit more assurance. That there's more assurance there. But the thing is, is that even with signings, anything can be unpredictable. You might think he's the right player to sign, yeah. but then he doesn't suit your <coughs> style again, of play, and everything goes wrong. And out of twenty, if a you problem. throw the money at, at the players and yeah, you get the you, right management and the board to convince that this project is going to be yeah, but here's the thing. I'll, one for they, they threw the, the money future at Pepe and the long term, and as well as the short term, and we can get into the Champions League. I don't know how we're going to do it this season unless mm. we win Europa, but that's not looking likely. But ooh, you know, football is a funny game, yeah. but you but have to be realistic to me, you, you spent 70 million, something like that, on Pepe? 72 and, million uh, on Pepe. You, you threw all your money and at him. That's in and that's in and, and that's the thing. He's not even produced really that well for you guys. So it has to also suit the well, style of play. And they are going to play players that flop. 
at some stage? Well, it's poor management from the previous manager, meaning Emery, yep. and then you've got Jumberg who comes in and he yep. doesn't start in much. So it, yep. it could be a case of his attitude off the ball. Okay. His attitude on the ball, he's, fa he's a fantastic footballer. Okay. Absolutely fantastic. However, he, off the ball, he, he's got to do a lot more, and that's okay. why he's been punished for not starting games. Yeah. All right, well, listen, I'm going to wrap this up because yeah, uh, I don't want to take too long of your time. Yeah, but yeah, um, I'll leave your socials in the description down below. I also did one yeah. with Kelechi, as you'll see, just before his. Oh, uh, and he'll also be, his will also be um, in the description below. So like Instagram, you know, Twitter, all that. Oh, of course. But yeah, we'll catch you guys later.